arrived here um, in mid-May last year, um, 2016, and yeah, I'd come in for um, a cat and cocaine addiction. When I arrived, I was in heavy denial. Um, I kind of, yeah, I didn't, I didn't want to admit that I was on drugs, and yeah, kind of healing wings took me in, and my my journey started. It didn't take me very long to admit that I that I was an addict, um, and my my recovery began. Um, I had obviously my counselor here, and uh, there was a volunteer here, and yeah, I had a, a support system for the first time in a long time. I, I felt safe. I, I had some way to be. Um, uh, my program went well in the beginning. Uh, I was kind of complying, but then I realized that Philip, this is this is what I what I needed, and this is where my walk with God began. Uh, I got baptized here at Healing Wings, and and yeah, it was just it was beautiful. Um, I saw my family again for the first time after a while. Um, I was sober. I was looking good. I was happy. They were happy to have me. We had we had a really good weekend. We went out. Um, and we had we had a lot of fun, and for the first time in quite a long time, we were a family again, which which was really really cool. Um, I, I came back to Healing Wings, and from there I decided that that this is what I needed to do. I I needed my life back. I, I needed to do it for my family as well as for myself, and um, that was when I, I really really put my head into the game, and and. I started putting my all into this. Um, not long after, I saw my family who got a really horrible phone call um, saying that my mom was in ICU with cancer and approximately two months later, she passed away. Um, I absolutely did not expect this from, from having a healthy mother to having this new relationship back with her. Um, and my, my family was together again, my parents had gotten back together for the, like after a little while of being apart. Uh, this curveball just hits us. Um, and if I hadn't been here at Healing Wings, if I hadn't had, if I hadn't had my recovery to fall back onto, uh, I, honestly I, I don't know where, where I'd be right now. Um, the, su the support that, that was offered for me here, my counsellor, my that even the people that were on the program with me, um, yeah, I was just, I just had the most amazing support system and just had the most amazing people to, to help me to turn it into something good. And by, by that I mean, I could have used my mother's death as, I could have used it as an excuse to, to go down, back down the wrong path. I could have said to, I could have said to my family, listen, I'm out, like, I don't want to be anymore. And I didn't, I used it as an excuse to do better. Um, which which was a flipping miracle because for the first time in my life, I actually, I turned the situation into a good thing. Um, my program continued and um, I was, yeah, I, I don't know, I just grew closer and closer to to God. And I, I went through a bit of a stage where, where I resented God for everything that happened for me seeing my mother suffer, but. I eventually just realized that look, he had his hand in everything and me being here at that time and me having my life back by the time I'd I'd experienced that, that was that was a miracle from God. Um, I went further in my program and volunteering was was always a a toss up in my mind as well as with my family. My my mother wanted me to volunteer. Um, she actually, funny enough, told me the day they dropped me off here um, that I was going to be a volunteer here and I was going to be here for, um, I think, actual words were forever. Um, and obviously then I didn't really take that idea very well, but, but yeah, it was a toss-up. I, I debated it and I, I prayed a lot about it and God just gave me these signs and yeah, I, I signed my volunteership about three months ago. And just being here has that's obviously the best decision that I ever made when I when I signed my volunteership I, I sat with Craig and uh, um, he asked me why why am I doing this and I, I was honest with him and I said I, I'm not sure why like I'm not sure I'm just 
kind of following my heart almost and I'm just following what, what my gut's telling me to do. And to be honest, since that day, I've, yeah, I haven't regretted a single moment of it. It's been, I've, I've, I've had my biggest growth since I've become a volunteer. And yeah, I've kind of, I've gained a, a family here at Healing Wings and it's, it's really cool. Well, I, coming to addiction, I didn't really have, I didn't have a reason to become an addict. I didn't have, like, I didn't have a hard life. I just kind of met the wrong people and went down the wrong path very, very quickly. My, my addiction snowballed. And yeah, I just honestly thank God that my, my family brought me out to Healing Wings as my first treatment center. Um, uh, I've never been in treatment before, and yeah, you know, I, I, I obviously resented my family for putting me in a, a long-term rehab when they did. But yeah, now honestly, I couldn't thank them more for everything that they have done for me, and yeah, and everything that I've learned here, I'll live and take forward. I uh, started studying addiction counselling um, now in my volunteership, and. I don't know, it's just probably the best decision that I've ever made for myself because I have all of these, I've all, I like to think of it as like a, a toolbox and I have all of these tools in my toolbox that, that I get to share and I get to help other people that were in the same position as me. I get to help somebody else that, that may go through a loss um, and that may also suffer with addiction. Um, just as someone in my past that helped me do that, um, get through all of that so yeah I'm excited for my journey in sobriety and with healing wings because yeah it's just it's been amazing. <laughs>